good day today we'll be learning about arithmetic sequence this set of numbers here is a sequence of numbers 1 4 7 10 the triple dot signify or in other words stands for continues it is known or called ellipses okay now if you notice from 1 to 4 there's a difference of numbers or there's a difference in these two numbers as well as from 4 to 7, 7 to 10. So we are to find a, a relationship and this relationship will be by finding what is the difference between the, two, the, the numbers. Each number in this sequence is known as a term. This set of numbers is a sequence of numbers. What we will be looking at is arithmetic sequence. So by the ending of the two examples, you should be able to understand what we mean by arithmetic sequence. So, if you look at the numbers 1 and 4, what's the difference between 1 and 4? 3. What's the difference between 4 and 7? 3 again. 7 and 10? 3. Okay? So, if you notice that the difference is by 3, and there are multiple number of trees. So therefore, what we do is that we form a relationship. Instead of adding trees, 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 we simply multiply a large amount of trees. And therefore, since we don't know how many, what position of numbers we want, we'll call it n the position. This is the first number. This is the second number. This is the third number. This is the fourth number. And this is the nth term. Okay? So, what we do, you see, 3 times n equals n is simply the position of the number first, second, third, fourth. Since this is the first number that we want, the first set of trees, we will simply say 3 times 1, which gives us 3. But if you notice, we wanted the number 1. So let's try the next number. We say 3 n equals 3 times 2 which is the second position giving us 6 but we wanted 4 okay so let's try our next one 3 n equals 3 times the third position giving us 9 but if you notice we wanted 7 so how can we make this 3 become a 1 well we subtract a 2 and that becomes then a 1 and if we subtract a 2 from the 6 it becomes 4 and if we subtract 2 from the 9 it becomes 7 now if you notice what is in common now the 1 here the 4 here the 7 here so we have noticed that there is a pattern and this pattern is 3 n which would, the, would this be this operation then whatever we get from that product would need to be subtracted to to give us the term value okay so this arithmetic sequence now we can prove it let's say now for 10 which is the fourth position remember n is simply the position of the number so let's try it 3 times 4 which is the fourth position minus 2 that will give us now 12 minus 2 which is equals to 10 so that is correct now let's look at the next one that instead of subtracting we have to do something else so let's proceed the next arithmetic sequence is based on the set of numbers of 3 5 7 9 11 so that is a set of numbers. This is a sequence. Okay? A set of numbers with a sequence. Now, what's the difference between 3 and 5? Well, the difference is 2. The difference between 5 and 7 is 2. 7 and 9 is 2. 9 11 is 2. So we see that we have something in common. 2's. So we say 2n equals 2 times the first position second, third, fourth, fifth. So now we say now 2 and then we say 
to n equals remember this will be multiplied by the position times 1 giving us 2 and 2 times the second position giving us 4 and 2n equals 2 times the third position which is 3 6 so if you notice we're getting numbers that we don't want so let's try the next ones so 2n equals 2 times 4 equals 8 and 2n equals 2 times 5th position giving us 10 so let's see the adjustment that we need to do to these numbers to get these values what we would, would we need to do to the 2 well we would need to add a 1 that would give us 3 and if we add 1 to the 4 becomes 5 and if we add 1 to the 6 becomes 7 and if we add 1 to the 8 becomes 9 and if we add 1 to the 10 becomes 11 and that gives us our term value so therefore we can conclude again that there is a pattern here which means 2 times n plus 1 giving us the term value now what we can do now is that I could ask you and we could find out any term value say for example if I was to ask what is the 100th term value well the 100th term if you notice n it takes the position of the term position so therefore we say 2 n plus 1 equals 2 times 100 plus 1 which is equals 200 plus 1 giving us 201 therefore this 201 is the 100 term and this is the arithmetic sequence now if you notice what we have done in the arithmetic sequence in the previous example and this example that we added or subtracted to a common among that is increasing from one term to the next so in your arithmetic sequence there's a difference there's an amount that is consistent from one term to the next and then we have to do an adjustment now if you notice I use the word adjustment now and this plus one is the adjustment plus one is the adjustment when we multiply it we get a value and we do an adjustment to get our term value likewise in the previous example we did we did an adjustment but not as addition but as subtraction so let's go back to that first example which is right here the adjustment here was a minus two minus two that was the adjustment this concludes our topic on arithmetic sequence please stay tuned and watch our next video on